Mike, I'm really excited to catch up with you here on the stand at Mobile World Congress. Uh, to start things off, let's talk a little bit about the brand. Last year, Amphenol acquired Comscope's outdoor wireless and DAS businesses. Right. Now those solutions are in market under the name Andrew and Amphenol Company. But just tell us a little bit about the transition. Yeah, first of all, Sean, welcome to the Andrew booth here at the show. It's been tremendously uh, a great show for us so far. and. One of the things we're really excited about is just the reintroduction of the iconic Andrew brand back into the marketplace. For myself, I've been an Andrew employee since 1991, and it really uh, kind of brings us back to our roots. And being part of the Amphenol family, it's a tremendous span of over 140 companies that have a huge technology span across many different industries. And we're really excited to bring Andrew back into that because we feel like we have the ability now to continue innovating, but not only that, it gives us the flexibility to kind of look into new areas that we're not currently in as well and seek funding for those. And so I think going forward, we're going to be even more innovative than before. And we're going to be totally focused on our customers, how we solve their challenges, not only for 5G, but going beyond into 6G and so forth. So I think we've really got what I call the ability to tap into the Amphenol technology platform, leverage a lot of what they have, along with what we have ourselves and really continue to innovate and bring new products to market. Speaking of products, you've got a lot of really interesting stuff uh, showcased here, so I wanted to talk through a few of these. Uh, let's start with maybe the latest gen outdoor antennas, and I, I'm particularly interested in kind of the sustainability piece here. I know this is increasingly important for your customers, so right. just take us through it. You know, one of the things we developed over the past few years as a, as a sustainability strategy that relies on not only just it really relies on designing the antennas from scratch based on an eco-friendly design process. What we can do to actually improve the performance of the antenna so that we can save energy as it's used in the network. So one of the products that we're displaying in the booth there is our, our latest generation of what we call our SEED antenna technology, which is, stands for Sustainable uh, Energy Efficient Design. And, and what we've incorporated in that, in that platform is basically a cableless design that improves the efficiency of the antenna. We're also using some advanced design methods where we can take the 3D performance of the antenna, run network simulations on that as we do the design, so that we can further op optimize the way the antenna actually acts in the network, and thereby deliver better capacity to the customer as they deploy it. And then thirdly, we've designed the radome shape itself using aerodynamic techniques to reduce wind load. And then finally, we've used more recyclable material in the actual construction of the antenna. So kind of doing multiple, kind of multiple paths towards achieving a more sustainable product in the end that our customers will like and will really perform well for them in the networks. You know, in keeping with that sustainability narrative, I noticed a cabinet with a wind turbine on it. And I think that also kind of lends itself to different deployment scenarios where you might be off grid or otherwise in a rural location, but just more generally, how are you thinking about renewable power for radio right. sites? So we've, we've had, for the last few years, we've had a pretty comprehensive outdoor enclosure portfolio. So now we're looking at different use cases for that, including like battery efficiency or battery, battery energy storage systems. You know, we're starting to apply that enclosure technology for those applications. And then in the use case that we're showing in the booth there, it's how do we actually enable off-grid sites using a combination of wind, solar, maybe backup generator power, plus battery storage, and designing configurations around that to make that work. This is a very small kind of a concept towards a deployment we've done in Europe using some of the technologies I mentioned there, like the vertical wind turbine that we're showing in the booth there. It's part of an overall solution to give the customer and off-grid capability. All right, I also wanted to catch up with you uh, around microwave. You know, sure. microwave backhaul is something that everybody needs, everybody uses. Maybe right. it doesn't get a lot of air time, but uh, you all have something really interesting there with your auto align. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, so I mean, obviously the uh, the red lightning bolt's been present on microwave antennas for decades, right? So we, we continue to innovate that portfolio forward, driving it up into the E-band, the 80 gigahertz spectrum range, where now we can deliver a much higher capacity micro microwave backhaul capability. So one of the things you, that's really a challenge when you do that is that those antennas have very, very narrow beam widths. And so any wind disturbance on the towers that they're mounted to tends to, de to degrade those links. So the auto align technology that we developed is really designed to solve that challenge where the antenna and the auto align can sense the movement of the tower it can monitor the signal quality coming out of the radio, and then it can then actively compensate 
the feed structure of the antenna to keep that link you know, at a high performance level. So that's what we're showing here is the early iteration of that. And we'll continue to innovate on that as we go forward. So Mike, anything else that you'd like to highlight for our audience? And then I, I guess, what's the kind of theme that ties everything together and how's that fit with the, the new brand right. identity? So obviously sustainability is a, is a major theme that we've had here, not only this year, but over the last few years. And if you look at the tagline in, inside the booth there, it talks about simple, efficient, sustainable networks. So a lot of the products we're showing are geared towards deployment simplicity, efficient performance in the network, like the high gain you know, green antennas that we talked about, and also just overall sustainability, whether it's an antenna, whether it's a cabinet with a wind turbine. So one other, one other product that's in there is a um, hybrid fiber distribution closure that really enables a much faster and more efficient deployment of fiber up the tower. We're using some patented gel seal technology to seal the fibers into that enclosure. And as we've trialed that with operators around the world, they really love the way that it works as far as being able to deploy much faster than what they're doing today. So just kind of tr taking all the different types of technologies that we have and kind of positioning towards simpler, more efficient, more sustainable as an overall theme and strategy for the product portfolio. Well, you've got some great things to look at in the yeah. booth and a really compelling uh, product and brand narrative. So Thanks. I appreciate you sharing that with our audience. Absolutely. Thanks for coming by. We appreciate it. Thank you.